So in this video I'm going to show you how to create um, a RESTful web service uh, using Java that will expose an EJB bean um, to the client using a, a web client or like web browsers or other uh, web clients using the HTTP communication. So first I'm going to create a new project. Now we'll make it a web application. Uh, we could as well make an enterprise application and then create two modules, one for EJBs, one for web applications. But for the simplicity, I'm just going to create a web application and inside this one I will create an EJB bean to handle the back-end logic, the business logic. So we'll give it a name, we can call it a customer application. And um, default settings are fine. We don't need any extra frameworks this time, so let's finish up. And it will open an, an HTML page here. We will get back to this later. But uh, first we can create a new session bean called customer manager. We put it to the beans package. We can make it stateless for now with uh, no interface so we don't even need to select the local because we will just use it internally inside the same container. So the customer manager here, um, we create a, a dummy data. We create here two methods, public int get customer account. It returns a number or total number of customers. We can hard code it to 27. And then another method which returns customer per region, per given region. And there are two regions in this example. There are west and east regions. So we have a method called get customer count by region. And a parameter is a region. Right, and then we do a little if check here. If region equals ignore case west then we return a hard-coded value 12 if the region happens to be east then we return 15 and other case we return zero. Missing if there. Right, let's uh, format the code. Looks better. So that's our business logic bean. We don't need anything else. It's a stateless bean and we will be calling this bean from a web service. So clients do not access the bean directly. They access web service and the web service it can call these methods. Right, so the first web service that we will make um, it's, well we can do it either with the wizard for example RESTful web services from patterns or we can simply create a, a Bojo plain old Java object and use annotations to convert that one into a web service and this is what we'll do first. So you can see how we can just apply annotations to create a new web service for any Java object. So this one we call customer, this web service. We put it to the, for example, services package and finish up. See, it's a plain old Java object. Um, in order to make this a web service, we can write the path annotation here and, for example, call it customer. Now, this path will be the end part, the end point of a URL on which this web service runs. We, if we uh, import path, you can see so many different paths, but we use this one with the WS web service. RS refers to RESTful interface. So, let's use the path annotation properly in this package. And then we can inject the EJB 
using the EJB annotation. Uh, the EJB class is called Customer Manager. And that's it. This uh, bin will be injected here by the container and we don't have to even initialize it any other way. And now we can create a new method that the clients can call. We call it public string we can call it get customer count. Actually the method name here doesn't matter because what matters is this path. So when the customer is going to load this web service, for example, with the web browser, then this method can be called. But in order to do that, we have to specify whether this method is a get, post, or some other type of RESTful method, re request type. So in this case, we will use the get method. So this is the default that the browsers will use. So when you load a website on a browser, it's based on get method. So we use the get annotation there and then we add produces annotation. So this method produces text HTML. This is the MIME type and okay, media type has to be imported too. Uh, when we return some value, then we talk about what is producing. Later on, if we have some parameter, which we don't have here, but if we would have parameter, then we would use attack on annotation called consumes. And I will show that in a moment. So here we just return some HTML. Um, customer count. And then we call the bean manager dot get customer account. So we return all the customers. And then we close the tag properly. Like this. So this is the web first web service that we will make. But you see that there is a warning here. If you take mouse, it says rest is not configured. So what we still need to do is especially only when we create manually this web service is we click here and configure rest using java e6 specification when we click it you can see that a new package a new file appeared here this one is the configuration for the web service and you can also see that another folder appeared here restful web services where you can see our new customer web service and this new get customer account method and uh, well, after we deploy it, everything successful, good. We can right click this one.